Hello folks, Mr. Swinger1 here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are out in the garage. We're, we are trying to get this dart. This is, uh, we're blocking it. We're going to get, we're going to, we're getting it, the body work like smoothed out. We're going to put another coat of 2K over the whole car and then block sand that. So, I'll explain the process here at least with this car um it was taken down to bare metal um epoxy primer we did some roughing in over the epoxy primer now i don't know some people say that's backwards it should have been done over bare metal i think it could be done either or that's what i did so <clears throat> there's a lot of bond uh plastic filler in this car um you can see it everywhere uh down here I don't know why, but there was a sliver cut out on both sides and the metal was folded in. I'm assuming maybe they ran bigger tires at one point. This has the 14 inch small bolt rallies on it. They're standard with a 7340 swinger. Um, very minimal rust. There was a, they, the right rear quarter was replaced. Let's take a walk back there. The right rear quarter was replaced. Um, there was a big dent in it. It was like somebody slid off the road into a pole. Um, I'm assuming. And this whole side was like mashed in. Like a big swoop. We called it sideswipe damage. Um, we uh, tried to beat it out. Um, but the metal was so stretched. We figured if we skimmed it with mud. Um, it would suck in and pop all the bondo out. So we just replaced the quarter. So the quarter, the seam is in up through here. We flanged it, welded it, sandblasted the welds. We came down through here, and down through here, we stayed out of the door jam. So that's, you know, this quarter is a replacement. But there's mud filling the weld seams down through there. So then you got to get those body lines back. Um... But right now I'm working on the left front. We're going to pull the car out of the garage, spin it around. We're going to block out this side. We are going to add a little mud in through here. You know, you got a feather edge out, any little dent. There's a dent here. The mud comes out like six or eight inches to each side. Um, little stuff. Uh, what, these darts usually have rust holes down here because the water from the cow drains out there. So you got to cut and patch metal in here that, that's been done um keep in mind i've been working on this body work for years because it's weekends and when i have time and i usually don't have time um but we're getting there uh the windows are installed i did that this past winter did the headliner somebody might have seen that video um you put the headliner in first then you install the window let's take a look inside and just see how that's coming along that box there is the heater vent hoses that go up under the dash I got some old ones but that's a new kit with the proper clamps <sighs> kind of dark in here but you can see the headliners in it windows installed dashes there seats still need to be redone I have them kits back seats not in I need a package tray uh, there was a video put the Put those side panels on both sides. Um, coming together. Uh, headliner isn't perfect, but a lot of the wrinkles are coming out from the heat. It's starting to become summertime now. Um, I figured I'd let it sit and let that vinyl, you know, get hot and get cold, shrink up. Let's see. Doors close all right. Um, mud in through here from where the roof weld seam is. I'm planning on putting a vinyl top back on this, but it might be one of the last things I do. I am going to paint the roof body color. We have a bumblebee stripe kit for the back after the paint's on. Um, yeah, getting there. So. Let's get back to the left front fender. That's where I'm working. I'm going to come down the left side. Uh, a lot of mud in this door. 
in the front fender. Um, I was working in this area here to fender extensions. Um, you can see the gap's a little weird. So what I did, I'm going to do it again. See the gap? A little off. I'm going to put footage of what it was before. So this is, what I'm doing is I'm putting a piece of tape around this. Phone it back this way. Bolting this back on, and we're going to skim mud from the seam back. And I did that once, and I think I pulled the tape too soon because this edge is a little rough. I'm going to do it one more time. Another thing with these, this is a pop metal extension. They do have plastic ones. This one's pop metal. You can see right there, it don't fit perfect. Um, I could bring this corner up. And this side might be high. And I could skim some mud here back. I haven't decided yet whether I want to do that. I might just live with the unevenness there. Focus on getting this right. Because this is a bigger area. More eye catching. Um, but yeah. That's what we're doing. And the point is. I don't know how many hours I have in this fender. If you go all the way back to stripping it to metal. The initial roughing in of body work. Uh, I feel like I spent a few hours on it yesterday afternoon. It was hot, but not too hot. A lot um, of sanding. We are using the tape method. Got a piece of tape there. Um, I'm going to focus on this. These fender extensions. I don't know if you can see. Cap's kind of tight down there. It gets wide up through here. Back to tight. I'm going to stick a piece of tape in here, fold it back over, hit this side with mud, pack it in. We're going to try and tighten that gap up. This is what you do when you test fit these parts. So get this thing, try to get this thing ready for another coat of 2K primer and a block sand. Back here. I don't know if you can see, there was a dollop of MIG weld there. I think there was a crack there or something. We MIG welded it. There's like a, a spot weld. Um, I literally ran a file over it. Been sitting here playing around with files. So I get that where it feels smooth, and I'll come through with filler and just finger. Run some of my finger, sand it out. Um, that's what we're doing. We're going to go all the way down the side of the car, pull the car out of the garage, spin it around, do the other side, do the roof. Then we're going to mask it off all the windows, hit it with 2K, 2K primer one more time block that out with 320 all right Block. here's our roughed in bondo this is the second time i did it first time i took the tape off too soon and this whole edge was rough i'm gonna go through it with a razor and try to make sure there's no issues when i go to take this off um then i'm going to smooth it out with uh, some block sanding um, I got mud all the way down through there the extension came out high here so I'm trying to fill this in with filler to make it where it's, it looks flush um, I do not have the valance on I have a feeling that'll work out I had it bolted on already um, but if anything's going on with the valance I will adjust that as needed the real reason is I don't know if I'm going with the valance I have now. I might have to get a new one. Alright. So, if you're good with Bondo, sanding should be minimal. I'm a slop with Bondo, so I end up doing a lot of sanding. Um, most of it ends up as dust on the floor and you sweep it up later, but I am not a body man. I'm just a guy trying to do it himself. All right, got 
Got a little bit of sanding there at the bottom of the door. But as you can see, the process is repetitive and it takes forever. At least for me anyway. All right. So as you see, we got a nice straight edge there. We're gonna start feathering that in with various blocks. Got my thin one for down there. Bigger ones for up there. I'm gonna start hitting it and see how it turns out. All right, here's our end result. You can see the gap's tighter. That shininess is the pot metal. That's not light coming through. That'll get covered with paint, but we have a much tighter seam. Um, I think this fender was smacked in the front because it had a plastic extension on it way back when. It was all broken, patched together with Bondo. That's a pot metal extension now. Um, but yeah, little details. It's all in the details. Let's see, we got it going on, going back. It's kind of getting there. I think we're getting where we can shoot this side with 2K and do the tape line thing all over again. Pull it out of the garage, sweep up, pull it in and then do the other side. Then come across the hood, roof, and trunk lid.